In today's short story joke compilation, we bring you 11 of our best short jokes of the week, one after another. Our first short story joke is about a little girl in church. A little girl is uncomfortable during church service. Her mother whispered, Honey, are you feeling okay? The little girl shook her head. My tummy feels funny, she said. Why don't you go outside, sweetie? There are bathrooms on the other side of the church hall. It's far, though. The little girl nodded and left. Mom, worried, watched her going out the door. But within seconds, the church door creaked open again, and the girl reappeared, a grin plastered on her face. Are you feeling better, dear? The mother asked, surprised at her daughter's speedy return. All better, said the girl. But guess what? I didn't even need to go outside. Oh, what do you mean? The mother asks. The girl pointed towards the back of the church. There was a box right by the door that said, for the sick, so I just used that. <laughs> now we bring you a short story joke about a man needing a job. Here is a funny short joke about a man needing a job. A desperate guy needing a job knocked on the door of a mansion. I need a job, he rasped. The very wealthy mansion owner said, perfect timing. Paint the back porch black, son. Two coats, nice and even. Two agonizing hours later, the desperate guy staggered into the wealthy man's house. Done, he said. Double coat, just like you said. The wealthy man's smile vanished from his face. That quick? Impossible. What exactly did you paint? That can be so quick. The desperate guy wiped his brow and said, I know painting and I know cars. It's black now, two coats like you requested. Oh, and it's not a porch, it's a BMW Z3. So, about that payment. <laughs> the following short story joke is about two farmers having a misunderstanding. A British farmer moves in next to this farmer. The British farmer builds two new dams, a big dam and a small dam. The farmer is a bit worried because the two dams is so close to his fields. If the dams start overflowing, Al his corn will be washed away. Soon it starts raining. The farmer decides to go over to the British farmer and tell him his dams are full and he must open the sluices. Not long and the farmer is back. He is wet, his clothes are torn, and he has a black eye. What happened? His wife asked. I told him his dams are full and he started fighting with me, the farmer said. His wife is very curious about what her husband said to the British farmer, because she knows he does not understand proper English and asks, How did you ask him? I told him, You're big damn full and you little damn full too. <laughs> now we bring you a short story joke about a lobster. Here is a funny short joke about a lobster. A man was walking along the beach with a big lobster in his hand when he was noticed by an inspector who was coming out from behind the rocks. I saw you, the inspector said. You are going to get a heavy fine for taking that lobster out of the sea without a permit. The man said, but it's not my lobster, it's my pet. It stays with me every day. I bring it to the beach to swim and get some exercise. The inspector does not believe the story the man is telling him. It's true, the man says. I let it go into the sea, let it swim a while, and then take it home. Let me show you. So, he lets the lobster go into the sea. The inspector, satisfied, said, Right, you can call your lobster back now. The man looks at the inspector and says, What lobster? <laughs> in our next short story joke, we have a guy in a bar. A young farmer with a swagger in his step bursts through the bar doors. Under one arm, he carries a big rooster so magnificent its feathers practically shimmer. In his other hand, he has a toilet bowl overflowing with cash, a sight that could make any barman think doomsday have arrived. The grizzled bartender, used to seeing his share of oddballs, raises an eyebrow. Well, howdy there, son, he drawls. What brings you and your unique companions to this fine establishment. The farmer, a glint of mischief in his eye, throws a wink at the rooster. Look here, mister, he declares in a voice thick with hayseed. My father always said there are two ways to impress a pretty lady. 
either a mighty fine cock that I have here or a bowl full of money. <laughs> now we bring you a short story joke about a midlife crisis. Here is a husband and wife joke for you. This husband said to his wife, remember 30 years ago, we had a small apartment, the car was leaking oil, a little portable TV and a very old bed. However, I was sleeping with this hot 25 year old bombshell. The wife, seemingly not taking notice, just shrugged. Uh-huh. Now we have a house so large, we practically must scream at one another, a TV as large as our old apartment, and a brand new luxury car in both garages. But I sleep with a 55-year-old that's collecting dolls. The wife glared at him and said, You want a 25-year-old bombshell? Fine, just remember. With that comes two-minute noodles, a rusty car, and a 30-year-old couch. Happy hunting. The husband's eyes widen. Sorry, honey, maybe my midlife crisis can wait. <laughs> Our next short story joke is about Little Johnny and a doorbell. Now, here is a funny short joke about Little Johnny. Little Johnny's was meticulously balancing a smooth pebble on a wobbly tower of pebbles. Suddenly, he hears a voice behind him. It's the local priest, Father O'Malley. Fascinating rock garden you've got there, son, Father O'Malley said. Not a rock garden, Father, Little Johnny chirped. It's a, a doorbell. Father O'Malley said, a doorbell made of pebbles. Now that's a new one for me. Tell you what, son, let's give it a ring, shall we? Father O'Malley, with surprising agility for a man twice his size, scooped Little Johnny up. Little Johnny now reached the doorbell with ease. Father O'Malley lowered Little Johnny back onto the ground, expecting a thank you, Father. Instead, Little Johnny looked up at him with a naughty grin and spoke. Now, Father, we must run. <laughs> now we bring you a short story joke about two farmers that is illegally storing fuel. Here is a funny short joke about two farmers that were storing fuel in a drought. In a drought-stricken town, fuel was very scarce. These two sneaky farmers were stockpiling fuel illegally. Every night, they secretly filled drums with fuel and cleverly disguised them behind hay bales in case of need. One morning, the one farmer phone starts ringing. Hurry up, quickly go hide the fuel. The cops are looking for fuel that people are storing. Bury the fuel in your backyard. The farmer slammed the phone down, grabbed a shovel, and sprinted towards his secret stash. 30 minutes later, the phone rang again. The farmer answered cautiously. Hello, who is it? It's me, the other farmer replied. Did you bury it all? Yes, yes, I buried all the fuel. But what do I do with all the empty drums where the fuel was in? <laughs> now, our second last short story joke is about a boy bunking school. Here is a short joke about a boy bunking school. 15-year-old Jimmy, a teenager always up to mischief, is sitting on a couch watching a show on a blaring television. As the doorbell sound pierced through the house, Jimmy sees his grandfather looking through the window. Jimmy's grandfather came over to Jimmy and said, I looked through the window and it's your teacher Mrs. Smith with a bunch of flowers. I must assume you have skipped school and she is here to check on you. Why don't you go and hide and I will cover for you, the grandfather said. Jimmy, looking very surprised, said to his grandfather, No, Grandpa, you must go and hide. I will cover for you. How so? asks the grandfather. Jimmy jumped up and said, I told her I cannot come to school today because my grandfather passed away. <laughs> Just before we bring you our last short joke of the day, we would like to thank you for watching our short funny jokes. These shorts are published daily. If you like this compilation, then please press the subscribe button and the bell icon. This way you will be notified for our following release. Have a nice week, here goes. Here is a funny short joke about a man wanting to sell his car. This guy was selling his second-hand car. The for sale sign in his beat-up sedan was clearly visible. However, nobody even bothers stopping to ask for the selling price. His friend who owns a second-hand car dealership said to him, I tell you what, my mechanic can shave a few thousand miles off the odometer. 
Nobody cares about an old car unless the mileage is low. The guy thought that it's a good idea and took it for a rewind service. A couple of days later, the guy was casually driving down the road with the top down looking very happy with his car. His friend called him over and said, didn't you said you would like to sell your car? The guy in the car said, no way, this baby's practically brand new. He patted the dashboard proudly, where the odometer now displayed a suspiciously low mileage. 